I'm making a note here. Yeah, this is brand new to me and our department, generally speaking. Um, we've actually been working on surveying for it in less than a year. Um, the, the first detection of an invasive wasp or, or a potential invading wasp from overseas was in our area was, uh, was actually a find in, in Vancouver last year. <laughs> So I can like get the angle of my finger oh, yeah. being there, and somebody's like, "Dude, girl, you need to like, do something with that." Get a pen or pencil. We're not entirely positive what the threat will be if if they became established. We don't know how much impact it would have on individual beekeepers uh, or on beekeeping as an overall industry. Um, but we do know that it has the potential to be a pest. It would be one more thing that beekeepers have to manage that we would like them not to have to manage. A yellow, uh, a bald-faced hornet queen. So this used to be sort of our biggest and most fearsome uh, hymenoptera, and we hope the murder hornet moniker has created a lot of fear and hysteria. That's probably overblown. I mean, the human health risks are real. Um, if, if you are one of the people that is unlucky enough to stumble into a nest and get stung, that's a definitely going to hurt. Uh, if you're allergic, you could go into shock.